What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Andrew, the producer. And guess what? I am back with a new video. And this time, I'm going to be showing you guys a real dope mobile application by the name of Koala Sampler. Um, this sampler is really amazing. It's pretty affordable as well. It only costs about 6 to $7. Um, you can actually get this on iOS. You can get it on Android. Uh, put it on an iPad, tablet, whatever pretty much works out for you. Uh, but this program right here is actually really, really amazing. And it's actually real simple. And I think that's what makes it very, very powerful because it actually makes it very intuitive to be able to use the program and learn exactly what its functionality is. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I've already figured out when it comes to this program. First things first, you do have 16 pads, just like an NPC. You have four banks, just like an NPC 2000 Excel. So that's going to go ahead and give you, you know, the ability to be able to bring a lot of different kind of, um, you know, samples and chops and, and different kind of effects into your, to your beats and your, in your production. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. As of right now, you can see I have 15 of them filled. Let's go ahead and go to bank B and you can see that there's a couple of things in here. I think I have some congos in here for some percussion. Um, and I think I have a sample in here as well. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit of uh, what I like about this program. So um, first and foremost, one of the things that this program is, is, is able to do is, uh, is, is import video. Uh, and not the actual video itself, that, don't get me wrong, but it's actually able to import the audio from the video. So what it does is pretty much grabs a video and, and just extracts the audio from it. And you're able to bring that audio into Koala Sampler and get busy. So what does that mean? That means that the ultimate cheat code is pretty much going to YouTube, doing a iOS screen capture, recording a dope sample, and then importing it into Koala Sample. Uh, so... Let me go ahead and see if I can go ahead and show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube. So here's pretty much my example of what I'm talking about. So right now I'm doing a screen capture. I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube. I'm going to play my video because I don't want to get a copyright strike so that we can sample it. So give me a second. All right, that's enough, guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen capture. And then we'll be back shortly. I'm gonna flip the screen around. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much back in Koala Sample. I'm gonna go ahead and do the import video feature. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first video here, and that's gonna be what we just did, and that was gonna be the audio capture of my YouTube video. So give me one second here while I bring in that information. As you can see at the very, very bottom corner, here it is. All right, YouTube. So here's pretty much my example. All right, YouTube. So here's pretty much my edit. example. Of what I'm talking and about. And get to the so music right now. I'm doing a screen. You can also zoom here and get real precise. All right, that's enough, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen. All right. You can also use tools. You can do the crop. So you have stuff like normalize. You have um. An auto chop feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as you can see here, it kind of chopped everything up based off of the transits. You can also go ahead and manually assign a choke group so that every everything that you pretty much chop here will be on choke group number one. That's a great way to chop a sample. You can also go ahead and do it this way as well, which is pretty much cutting everything into equal divisions. And then you also have the lazy way of doing it, which is my personal favorite. You're gonna hit the play button and then Pretty much hit this um, this uh, uh, transit marker pretty much bar, and it would automatically add um, based off of you tapping. So it's kind of like tap tempo, but you're, you're chopping. And then you can pretty much come over here, and you can see that everything got chopped up. Pretty much how we like it. Let me go ahead and show you guys um, a little something that I've been working on when it comes to uh, the program itself. So let me go ahead and load this up. All right, so this is gonna be a beat. Once again, guys, I pretty much used the same feature, which was the screen capture feature. I went to YouTube and I typed in drum break, found me a drum break and I chopped it up and now I got drums and koala. And then I went to YouTube, found me a soul sample, I did the same thing with the screen capture, did the import video and now I have a sample in koala. One of my favorite features is that you can actually grab 
samples and just drag them to a new pad and just be uh, able to edit your start and end ports. That's a great way to be able to chop up samples as well. Um, let me also go ahead and show you guys something else so you can come to performance and do stuff like. So that's pretty cool. You can also go ahead and do a reverse. Tempo delay. Ring. Pitch. Filter it up. Back down. Add a gate or a stutter. You can also combine these. So it's very, very similar to the SP404 workflow where you can pretty much bring a lot of your information into the program and, or, or, the, or you know, the device and just have it tweak it and kind of glitch it out and kind of you know do some performance effects so I think that's pretty awesome um, another thing that's awesome about this as well is that uh, let's go ahead and stop the sequence is any pad that's going to be illuminated red is live and ready to be recorded on so all you have to do is press it and hold it down and then go ahead and start talking or doing things uh, randomly around the house like I do so check this out that's just me puckering my lips making a sample out of it, and that's about it. Or I would hold something down and maybe snap my fingers, um, hold something down and maybe you know do a hand clap, it doesn't really matter. So that's the way that you pretty much do live sampling inside of the, uh, the, the, the program itself. And then you can actually go ahead and do stuff like change it where it says microphone, change it to resample from application, and then hit the effects button. Now listen. Now we have reverb, a bass, some treble, some 8-bit kind of sound, some fuzz. So we do have effects here. So say you wanted to have the reverb, all you would do is just hold down the pad next to it, press it down, and now you sample it with reverb. You can actually come up here and turn the effects off, go back to record from mic, and if you listen to the two, there's no reverb you have reverb. So you can also do resampling, which I think is pretty amazing as well. So here's some other cool things that I figured out, guys. So you can hit the effects button to be able to do things. Um, you can do a resample from app or you can do an import file. So if you pretty much did have some files um, on your phone, you can actually go ahead and import them in here. I want to say I do have something in here. Let me take a look here. I want to say number 55 is a drum. Boom. So there you go. So you can import your own samples into Koala as well. So it doesn't necessarily require you to only sample um, to be able to, to, to take advantage of the program. So I think that's pretty sick. And I think the fact that you can actually drop your own files into your files folder and have access from Koala makes it very powerful. Once again, I'm not trying to compare it to other programs and applications. Uh, hint, I am PC Pro, but kind of just wish that, you know, we were kind of able to, you know, do the same thing and, and bring in our own samples as long as they're just stored on our iOS device. Um, so Koala Sampler, guys, is definitely the business. I think if you're a boom bap kind of producer, this is all you really kind of just need. You know, you, you don't really need much when it comes to, you know, making the beat. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the sequence that I've been working on here. So these are all built-in bars. It has piano roll built in, so you can go ahead and go in here, edit your notes. You can add notes. Um, you can also go ahead and delete notes. Um, so I think that's pretty much amazing. Uh, makes it very you to be able to create a song you would do things on the fly like just select your sequences Boom. change it to a new one and uh i just personally like to work in bars every once in a while especially if i'm going to be doing it on a mobile app so That way I don't have to make any kind of adjustments or changes or if I want to make any kind of transition. It's not too hard to make edits on the phone. I'm only dealing with one bar at a time and I'm not really just trying to like, you know, zoom in and out from like eight bars because I want to sequence everything, you know, in a longer length. So yeah, Paul Sampler is definitely going to be the business. Let's go ahead and stop the sequence here. Let me show you guys some of the menu options that we have here. So 
Um, you have new, you have load because you can save, uh, obviously save, save as you have record songs. So pretty much re record song is going to be, um, you can, you can, everything that I was doing, like a performance earlier, you can pretty much record that as a song and be able to export that. So I think that's pretty dope. You can do a resample loop. Showed you guys earlier, there's some resample features that are going on in here. I think that, um, I haven't really dug too deep into the resample loop. Um, you have export, so you can bounce these out. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So if you are pretty much at, uh, um, on the go and you have some ideas, you can export these out to your DAW or to maybe your 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 hardware workstation and be able to kind of pick up where you left off. I think that's pretty amazing. Um, you do have Ableton Link connection. You do have import audio. You have import video, which I think is golden. Um, then just your regular settings. Let's go to take a look into your settings, guys. Just to show you guys, um, when it comes to uh, the background, you can go ahead and edit your background. You can remove it, go back to the stock. Um, you can choose photos, you can choose pictures or whatever. We'll go ahead and just choose the one that I pretty much had. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to settings. You can go ahead and change the, uh, the effect. Uh, so here's one of them. Uh, here's one called TV. It's pretty wild and crazy. It looks like a static TV. One's called warp, one's zoom. Uh, there's none, there's a scroll, um, and then there's one called the glitch, which I think is pretty crazy. It doesn't look like anything right now, and that's because the phone is sideways, but if it was this way for a bit, you might be able to see some of it, um, down there below. But yeah, I think that's a pretty cool feature. Me, personally, um, I don't necessarily like, uh, anything else but the, uh, Huey one, because, um, let me go ahead and show you guys what that does. Give me one second here. Sorry, guys. Oh, Huey, perfect. So Huey, what it does is every time that you hit something, you get that pop out effect. So uh, that's what that does. So yeah, this is gonna be Koala Sampler, guys. There's so much more to this here. I haven't dug in too crazy, but I did want to go ahead and give my initial impression. Um, and I think it's pretty amazing, pretty outstanding what you're able to do on your phone, on the fly, especially with the screen capture cheat code to be able to grab some stuff from YouTube, uh, bring it into Koala Sampler and be able to do anything that you want to do. As I mentioned before, this is a drum break. I chopped it up and now I have my own drums. Um, this is a sample. Same thing with the Congos. I knew I needed some or I wanted some, so I just typed in a guy playing Congos on YouTube and just did a screen capture and sample they brought it in so i think it's dope that it keeps you true to sampling i think it's amazing that you have sampling on the fly i think it's awesome that you're able to change out your sequences you have 32 different thir different variations of sequences that you can play with that's amazing you also have 32 different pads that you can play with when it comes to um i'm sorry you have more than that i'm sorry you have uh what is it so you have 64 different pads that you can play with so 32 sequences 64 pads um you know the only limitations you have is going to be the amount of space that you have on your phone i'm rocking the iphone 11 right now so i got about 50 gigs to play with plenty of space anytime that i need that i do right now it's pretty cool because there's a koala sampler folder under your files on your iphone so when you plug it into your computer you're able to access that folder drop everything to maybe an external hard drive be able to do some backups clear up some storage keep moving and keep rocking this is your boy mg the producer if you like this video i really do appreciate you watching go ahead and hit the subscription button we're going to go ahead and bring some new stuff to the channel i love the npc but yo i also love other samplers as well so if you're rocking with this video hit the thumbs up i appreciate you rocking with me peace out guys